Milnes is in and bowls down the leg side and that is played firmly away through mid-wicket. Nice piece of timing, but a good diving stop. No, good dive. Takes up the attack from the rugby stand end. Comes in, bowls to Hanscom, who's looking to steer it away through the offside. All he manages to do is get the faint edge. It's comfortably taken by Tattersall and another Leicestershire batsman who'd got themselves in, got themselves into their 20s. Talk about where he's going to pitch it lengthwise. Milnes is in and he's caught behind. Mm, yes, he is. He waited for the decision, Curry, and I thought for a minute because Bowler didn't even look behind him as he ran towards Tattersall, but it drew Curry in, having praised him for leaving the slightly wide. In here, as uh, Ben Curl bells to Ben Cox, uh, to uh, Cox, who's slashed that away through third man and picked up four runs. But just looking at what was going on there, Matthew Fisher has come up. Milne's coming into Bolton now. Short. Oh, he's, he has played a shot. I think it was probably going to go somewhere down towards the city centre, which is over the east stand, but it ended up going straight back over Matt Milne's head for four. With almost a wall of fielders out of the side in front of uh, Ben Cox. Bowls here. That's going to go for four, though. Too much width from Ben Code on this occasion. Ben Code down at long leg. A couple of slips in place, neither which come into play here. It's just a little bit too short and wide from George on this occasion. It's been slashed away. Mike again across his stumps, and he's hoisted that over mid-off for four runs. A little bit of an outside edge there, I think. Balls to Cox, looks for another sweep, beats the 45 to the fielder's left-hand side, and that goes for four. Fisher to start his new over. In he comes. Balls. And he's bowled him! Straight through Ben Cox and he punches the air because that is his first wicket of the innings and indeed of the season. An important breakthrough. The partnership was beginning to build, beginning to have some promise as far as Leicestershire were concerned, but it's come to an end. Balls swung by Mike over square leg and over the boundary. Bounces into the eastern terrace underneath the hotel and that is the first maximum of the match. Fisher is in and bowls. Mike is on driving very pleasantly and he's got that one through and he's got that one through for four. I thought for a minute as Fisher is in and does drop it short. Fisher and it, he does pull Ben Mike and absolutely didn't see that at all. Jordan Thompson did not pick that one at, up, at all. Not that there would have been a chance had he done so because it, it dropped well short. Fisher's in and Scriven just manages to push just in front of point there and gets the boundary for four. He probably wasn't going where he exactly wanted, he probably wanted it more conventional through that cover region but just through cover point for four and he'll be happy to relieve the pressure. Steps in and bowls and Mike gives it everything and hoiks it over high over mid wicket for another six and says okay play mind games let's play real games. Puts him into the eastern terrace. Thompson in and bowling to Scriven. And uh, he's been flicked away down through fine leg for four runs there. So if anything so far... Thompson turns at the top of his mark, comes in past the umpire, balls it and seems to just lose his line down leg side again as Scriven tucks that down to the fine leg boundary for four runs. Striding in, short of length, and Ben Mike has got underneath this one. And wherever Ben Cole was going for the previous one, he ain't going to get close to that. Six runs over Cow Corner. Thompson again. And slashed away through Gully, and will be four runs. That brings a 50 for Ben Mike on his return, then to Headingley. So 288 for eight, and uh, last ball of the over, George Hill. Nicely played by Scriven, who got one short and wide, and just guided it really wide of the court and didn't go at the ball too hard. And uh, Ben Mike with a thickish outside edge, he's going to get away with this and get four runs between Harry Brook at slip. Fisher is in drop short, pulled by Scriven out to the boundary for four. Well, that is the century partnership and the two batsmen clasp hands in the middle. Over the wicket past umpire Newell, round about off stump, but he's going to concede four runs here. A lovely little punch square just in front of square on the offside by Scriven, didn't really put his hand through it. Here's Code, and that is uh, worked away backward of point this time and he's going to have the legs to make it over the boundary his code oh good deliveries and appeal for LBW this time given 
Scriven LBW to Ben Code, his first wicket of the season. As Mike Milnes comes in. And interestingly enough, um, Mike just guides that down to the third man region and I presumed he'd taken an early single in the over, but wasn't actually anyone down there. Running in past the umpire, balls it. Gone for the shorter ball as he picked out the foot. No, it's straight into the crowd. Six runs. Off this delivery, in goes Milnes and bowls, and it's thumped very hard out towards Long Gone. Good diving stop. No, it's gone for four. I thought the fielder was going to get there. He, he sort of did. Is it? Is it been out there? Runs in. Bowls again wide, turn in, hit into the air and bounce. Oh, just short of the third man boundary. Lovely hit. Milnes turns, runs in, bowls wide again, hit up into the air. This time it could be caught. Is it going to drop short? It's caught. It's caught running in from the extra cover boundary. And a good catch too. It was Matt Fisher, I think it is, running in from, from there. Right arm um, over the wicket, bowling to Finley Bean, who's... First ball of the season goes for four through the covers. Beautiful. Just stood up right. Salisbury comes in, balls in, lies, just flicks it off his legs into the mid-wicket region, goes through that mid-wicket fielder. Is it going to reach the boundary? Yes, it just does. Sliding effort from the Leicester fielder there to no avail. And we're up to date with uh, Adam Lythe punching square on the offside to this ball, just short of length. He's got it away past uh, the diving point for four runs that takes him into double figures and Yorkshire to 17 without loss to bowl to Lyth who's backing across himself and driving square on the offside a lovely shot not the best delivery he'd have to say Lyth waits Scriven is in oh beautiful stuff from Adam Lyth and there you go turns out he's in pretty good touch because that is one of those signature shots along the deck all the way through extra cover for four runs Scott Curry then into the attack tall figure of Scott shot. Curry and that's a, a beautiful shot by Adam Lyth the first ball bowled by uh, Scriven to Lyth went for four it's at the back end of summer as he drives again oh, oh. poor delivery from Curry and full toll once again it is in bowls beautiful drive again from Lyth he's unfurled four or five of those already in this innings and that is another full no movement leans forward and with that uh, characteristic grace and style casting a long shadow now is in bowls oh lovely delivery goes past the outside edge takes the outside edge and Finley Bean has gone Ben Mike is having a day to remember back here at Headingley he's followed his 90 Mike is in and bowls outside of some driven court edged court Ben Mike has his second wicket we thought they might do the last over in comes Curry again from the Howard stand end Balls it on the stumps this time. Hill flicks it away through the mid-wicket region. Mid-on gives chase. I don't know if it will go, and it does go. Goes all the way for four. Well played from Hill. Watches as in goes Mike. Ball slightly short, and uh, Lythe now is very much in the game. Short and a little bit wide, and Lythe on the back foot. Plays a sort of back. Comes running in. Balls it, and slightly outside off stump. Hill slightly outside edge of the bat, but... Punishes it through the covers for four. None of the fielders turned to really move. Found the gap nicely. Obtrusive. In goes Mike. Bowls. And uh, he's going to pick up four for that one, Adam Lai. There wasn't too much wrong with the ball. It sort of, he played firmly at it and it was a little bit outside edgy for it to be too dangerous. Here we go. Last ball of the over. Full. Hill drives, but it goes straight to extra cover and no run. And a tidy first over from Ahmed. Just the one run from it.